The World Economic Forum and I fundamentally share a different worldview on how society ought to be run. According to the World Economic Forum view, the Klaus Schwab view, the view of the Great Reset, we have to dissolve the boundaries between the public and the private sector, even between nations, so that those leaders may work together towards the common good, often determined from places like the mountaintops of Davos. My view is different. I'm not a global citizen. I am a citizen of a nation, this nation, the United States of America. And as a citizen, part of what we believe in this country is that you have an equal voice and vote in determining how our society should be run. That is a fundamentally different worldview. It is the old worldview enshrined in the World Economic Forum model versus the worldview that we enshrined in the American Revolution, that citizens of self-governing nations ought to be able to govern themselves. So there was a bit of an oddity where despite that being my view, despite the fact that I was one of the most vocal critics of the World Economic Forum's worldview, they, without my consent, named me as a so-called young global leader, an elite distinction that they reserve for a number of high-profile young people, entrepreneurs, billionaires who are young. They named me on that list along with a lot of other prominent people joining their ranks, but they did it without asking for my permission. Isn't that pretty interesting? Take one of their top critics, but to name them on their website, use my photo without my permission on their website to say that I was one of their young global leaders. So I told them, you never, I never gave you the permission. I told you that I didn't want to be included. I'd like for you to take this down. Yet they did not take down my picture. They didn't take down my name. Yes, I've been successful. Yes, I've founded multi-billion dollar businesses. Yes, I've overseen the development of medicines that make for better lives for patients in different disease areas. I could see why they would want me to be affiliated with them. But I refuse because we share a fundamentally different worldview. Well, you know what? Enough is enough. It turns out they do this to other successful young business leaders too. And at a certain point, we just can't complain about these problems. I think we have to push back. So I am officially now considering whether I should sue the World Economic Forum, whether I should actually take this to them and actually hold them accountable for doing something that they shouldn't have done. I'm gonna ask people for their opinion. I wanna be very transparent about this. I am thinking through this. I'm giving this a, a serious consideration. Should I sue the World Economic Forum or not? That's what's on my mind. I wanna share that with you and I expect to make a decision imminently.